the Competition Commission has anything to do with it, data prices will fall. Service providers have two months to reduce their prices or face prosecution. The Commission says prices are excessive in South Africa, with the market being dominated by MTN and Vodacom. Amandla of Mobi has been for years outspoken about high data prices. I'm joined now by Notrolo Mfotwa from the lobby group. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So, so we much. know that this has been an issue for years because I've complained, you've complained, every other South African's complained. Yes. Finally, the Competition Commission is doing something about it. You must be happy. Yes, I mean, yeah, it's, it's been a long time coming. It's been a grilling journey trying to get the Competition Commission, ICASA and others, and even our government involved in the fight against high data prices. And I think we can finally say that with people power, we can get anything done. I mean, this took a lot of work from communities all over the country. Door to doors were done. Um, SMSs, WhatsApp submissions. We've been through every single process. Um, with the help of our members and this has shown us that with, pe with people power and just ordinary South Africans standing up to corporates like Vodacom and MTN we can get a lot of stuff done. Yeah you can get it done but they have two months to get it done. I heard the commissioner saying he thinks they could reduce it by between 30 and 50 percent. Yeah. That means we've been charged so much for all these years. Yeah. Do you think they'll go as high as 50 percent given that these are companies trying to make profits? Well we, we, we hope they'll go as high as that but um, our original ask anyways to the Competition Commission and to ICASA has been that the data needs to be reduced by at least 50%. Mm -hmm. So we're just happy that the Competition Commission also agrees with us and it doesn't now sound like something that comes from nowhere without any baseless, without any base of calculations and anything like that done. They've done the numbers, the crunch of numbers, they've seen that our original demand indeed speaks to the current situation. So we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, they've been very troubling in the back and forth of all these processes that we've gone through. I mean, last year they took us to court, trying to block the ICASA regulations on expiry from taking place. So we are anticipating the networks not wanting to do what the Commission is saying, but we're very happy that the Commission is uh, willing to implement this and is willing to take them on by prosecuting them for not um, adhering to the regulations. Yeah, and of course we spoke to the Trade and Industry Minister, Ibrahim Patel, so government seems to be bra backing the Competition Commission on this one as well. You, of course, did studies and compared what we pay compared to other countries yeah. in Africa and the rest of the world. How bad was it and how did it take so long for us to actually get this right? Uh, as the Competition Commission has also said, because they also did benchmarking, it was really bad. Like in other countries, um, we were paying about we were paying around one when we started the studies we were paying around 150 rand per gig and we looked and other African countries were paying as little as 19 rand a gig. Wow. So these are the same companies, but through the benchmark processing we've been able processes we've been able to see that their pricing is really unfair when it comes to the South African market and they make the excuse of speed and stuff like that being the reasons why their price is so high. But really that doesn't make sense when um, we are in a very digital economy at this time and developing into something bigger in that direction it really doesn't make sense or to continue that type of inequality and to continue to shut out so many South Africans from the digital economy. And of course the Competition Commission also found that this was anti-poor because yeah. people who had to buy prepaid data were being charged so much. Yeah, so we've been saying this for a very long time that the poor are being charged a poverty premium for data costs. We've been saying this for a long time as Amanda.mobi and again the Competition Commission has agreed with us and said listen the price discrimination has to stop. Um, we, one of our demands was calling on the networks to lower the price of the headline um, charge on a 500 mega, uh, megabyte bundle and that's basically what uh, the Competition Commission has also said. So yeah, it's about time yeah. we put an end to the price discrimination. Uh, it's about time we stop shutting the poor out of the um, digital economy. And of course if MTN and Vodacom reduce their prices it'll match Telcom and sell C and that means competition. more competition which competition. means lower rates for everyone. Yeah. We've been saying this for a very long time that these two networks MTN and Vodacom have been the duopoly and all the other networks said the same thing at the Competition Commission so we're really glad that um, the Competition Commission is really willing and taking the steps to make sure that they promote competition in um, the data services market. Well done, and thank you so thank much you. for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.